Uh, IBAT is a not for profit public charitable trust. Over a period of time, we have grown into a think tank that aims to provide a platform for policy makers, technologists, academicians, and industry leaders. So we get together, and what's the purpose? We debate, we discuss, and we share our views. While doing that, we cover a broad range of topics like contemporary management, technical issues, geopolitical issues, and also economic issues. So for today, I would like to invite Mr. Rajaram Shetty, who is a chartered accountant for the last four decades. I would like to uh, invite him here and uh, we will listen to him and uh, get his views on how this interesting group of 12 people have got together and how we will be using this think tank to share our ideas. We got here people of eminence who are in their own way build their future. Once Abraham Lincoln said, you can predict your future provided you create it. So these people have created and their journey of life actually should be visualized by all people, especially younger generation. You are welcome here. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda. Our next speaker now, Mr. L. N. Thalur. Art, they say, doesn't give rise to anything in us that isn't already there. It simply stirs in us our curious consciousness and sparks a fire that illuminates who we have always been. Our next speaker has been stirring consciousness not just in his own backyard but all over the world. Ellen Tharoor is an international visual artist extraordinaire. Armed with a bachelor's in fine arts and painting, Masters in Fine Arts in Museology, MA in Contemporary Fine Art Practice from Leeds, UK. He set out into the world unleashing his passion and creativity. And over the past two decades, he has held several prestigious group and solo exhibitions in countries like South Korea, United States, Germany, China and India. Currently, he divides his time between India and South Korea. It's very serendipitous that we are setting a stone's throw away from the coinage. Again, his creation. With his talent and unique style, he has given Manipal one of its most fetching and eye appealing landmarks one can ever fathom. He has won several accolades and awards all over the world, including the Skoda Prize for Indian Contemporary Art. I am extremely proud to call to the stage Mr. Ellen Tharoor and he will be talking to us about accidents as triggers, art of accident in creativity. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll start, straight away, I will start the showing and video.
2019, I shoot this video in uh, Junagadh uh, Museum. Junagadh is in uh, Gujarat. And, uh, you know, I just visited there and I saw this amazing, uh, you know, uh, accidentally I saw this. Behind the museum, they were cleaning this uh, carpet. It's like, uh, you know, it's, it's oozing lots of dust, uh, you know, and I was very surprised. And it is a very historical uh, carpet, and the carpet is made inside this uh, jail. So it's a, it's a colonial period, and the jail inmates of uh, you know the colonial uh, freedom fighters they were making this carpet, and then it was gifted. Uh, you know you can see a uh, text on the you know the carpet, and it was later given to uh, the local uh, king, is a Nawab. And uh, he used that uh, carpet inside the, uh, his uh, Darbar hall. So, the, interestingly, uh, when I visited uh, Junagadh, uh, I accidentally saw this, uh, you know, carpet. They were cleaning behind the, you know, uh, and then all I thought was, oh my God, it has a lot of history. You know, it, it has a lot of, you know, historical dust. So I was, I was immediately decided and I met the curator and said, okay, I want to shoot this. And I came with the cinematic camera and then I made this video. At the moment, the video is on view in uh, Moscow Museum. So my name is Tallur Ellen. Uh, you know, I, I share my time between uh, South Korea and, uh, you know, in India. And uh, uh, I have this sculpture outside this, uh, as he said. So please, uh, you know, visit and uh, take your time to kind of view this uh, sculpture. And especially, I have an interest in uh, money, a uh, concept of money. So I'll show an old work of mine, uh, which you know talks about the accidental decision how I made. So in uh, South Korea, I visited an industrial fair and I saw this machine. Very interesting. So it had an, uh, you know, it's an electromagnetic uh, kind of machine where the magnet rotates and it polishes all the, you know, the objects. Uh, especially like, uh, you know, mobile phones or, uh, you know, industrial products. To polish those uh, things, uh, they use this machine. And I asked him, can I, uh, you know, put my coin inside, then it uh, does that polishes? He said, yes, it polishes, it, it shines. So what I did, I bought this machine, and then in my studio, and it basically creates a very flowery pattern. So I was a bit greedy, I put a coin inside, and I polished excess. So the denomination of the coin disappeared. So the coin become just a metal piece. So I was very surprised and that's how, you know, an accidental decision in an industrial fad uh, made me to come up with this work or a concept. And then what to do with it? So I, made, I created a certificate and uh, that's what I saw. So, Another thing, I, I displayed this uh, whole uh, machine inside a structure. It's a cage where people get confusion whether to walk in or not. So it, it has an uh, almost uh, you know nine inches uh, gap. People can walk in, and deliberately I put between two rooms so that people have to pass. It's something like a money whether to invest or not, whether to kind of so that kind of a thing. So that is what comes in the installation itself. So it's in Beijing, in fact. So the next idea I want to talk about is a uh, designed accident. So in a rainy season, what happens when you're riding a bicycle, you get a kind of stripe, a, a, a muddy stripe, right? So that inspired me uh, you know, to make this uh, work. So, and also I found out like, you know, if you take uh, many tires, all the tires has a different kind of textures, right? The different kind of textures throw mud different ways. So what I did was I created a 
huge structure. This was in uh, uh, Brownsburg sculpture in uh, New Jersey, Hamilton. So what I did, they they given me a huge, uh, you know, the airplane hangar kind of a space, and over there I created a pit, and then I had a three uh, wheels, and then what I did was, so I put them, you know, I test run the whole thing, where it, it almost works like a symphony. The three wheels, they start rotating, and then, you know, they throw a mud down. So this is actually the whole structure where, uh, you know, it's very interesting that, you know, even people also uh, excited to watch accidents, or design the accidents, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they are waiting and watching. They know that this is going to happen, but still you are watching and waiting for that. That's very, very interesting. So what I did was, one side of the pit, I put more water. So it almost works like a watercolor. It's a thin water going and then, flashing on the wall, right? So the other side, it was more like an impesto or, or oil color, very thick. The thick mud going on the wall. So it's almost like a, you know, one year uh, the show run, so that, you know, people can experience the whole, uh, you know, it, it, the work doesn't remain same. It's constantly, you know, changes. Also, I created then a pathway where, you know, you pass the, uh, the pathway, suddenly the mud comes on you. So it's, a, it's an amazing experience of accidents. So accidents are planned accidents. You know it is going to happen, but at the same time you are watching, you are waiting. So that's very interesting. So this is how the final work looks. So let's talk about another idea, adopting accidents. How we adopt accidents. So this is the work in the same uh, museum. In a, uh, I, I come up with this work. And the inspiration for this work is this one. This is from a 10th century uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, broken part of a sculpture. And uh, it's a collection of Philadelphia Museum. And it's very, very difficult to diagnose this culture. So one person is eating the feet of another, and then you don't know whether it's a shagging or you don't know. So very difficult to kind of uh, diagnose this culture. So generally, a museum, uh, you know, works or a museum pieces. We we either write about it or we kind of converse about it, but we never kind of, you know. Uh, see or a translate that thing in a different medium. So my question was, is there any possibility of doing that in, in a sculpture? Like sculpture talking about sculpture. Is there a possibility? Well, because it's the same medium. So that's how I, I, I come up with that work. And my first question was, what is the material? So I decided to use a bone, an animal bone. So usually what happens when you eat chicken in, in a restaurant, what happens, all the, what happens to the bone? So what they do is, they, all the bone goes back to the factory and they make a bone meal. Like chicken eats a chicken. So that is the idea. So over there you can see a man eats a man's feet, right? So that's how I kind of decided the medium. So when I was doing this work, there's an interesting accident happened. So I was testing different kinds of glues to fix this, uh, you know, sculpture. Suddenly, I there's a one glue started reacting to the calcium in the uh, bone. So it started slowly oozing. This was not planned, and suddenly this started happening. I thought, oh my God! So this can be used in the whole, uh, you know, sculpture. So that's how I, I decided on the spot that I'm going to use the whole that oozing character in the, in the sculpture itself. <coughs> I 
and in the back side I have used a, a black uh, uh, charred uh, uh, bone, so usually used in the in the gardening and all. So the whole structure is made out of animal bone. It's called fringe. Let's move on to the next idea, observing accidents. So how museums make elephant skeletons? It's a, you know, I was very curious when I was reading about this. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to make a clean uh, uh, elephant bone. So they make a very interesting method, they clean that. They make a huge pit, they put the elephant inside the pit, and then there's a, there's a colony of dermestate beetles. These beetles eat flesh. So they put that in the, in the pit, and then within a week, you get a clean bone. So this inspired me and, uh, to make an interesting work, uh, which actually, you know, I, 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 you know, I saw uh, many termite attack the sculptures. So what I did here was I, with the help of local craftsmen, I, you know, made a sculpture, and then backyard of my my place uh, in, in in woods, I left the sculpture to termite attack. So what I did was I, I almost worked out like a you know a, a, a graphic uh, kind of a you know printing process where uh, you know uh, I used a termite repellent to control the you know termite eating. So you know wherever you want you kind of coat termite uh, repellents. Uh, the termite will not eat over there, and then you know other parts are like you know. Eaten away. So that's how I come up with that uh, work. And to stabilize some of some of the, the structure, I used a termite mud itself. So you know, usually, like in our tradition, is that you know any precious things. I mean, you know, for the religious things, we we cover it with the gold or silver couch, right? So in, in my case, in this culture, I only covered the stomach. The stomach is very important for us, uh, more than brain. So that's how that idea started, and then I come up with the, you know, I, I titled this work Alzheimer's, a kind of cultural memory kind of disappearance. So finally, I come up with the, this, this work. So all I want to say is observing accident in the creative process is very, very important. Otherwise, we'll make a boring life. So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear friends, for watching this episode of iTalk. iTalk is an event that was brought to you by iBag the Think Tank in association with you channel. This edition of iTalk tried to bring in 12 thinkers, doers, and idea generators from diverse fields on a single platform. I hope you will watch and listen to our love and other speakers too and enjoy it. If you have liked our program, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on subscribe button. Thank you. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, dear friends.